Thank you. Now to vote 2021, the first debate of the Democratic Party candidates for mayor of New York. The most diverse group of candidates ever. Three blacks, three women, two Hispanics, one Asian. And the issues oh so complicated and oh so critical to rebuilding the New York City economy, the biggest in the country. And a new way of voting coming up. No one person, one vote. It's now one person, five votes. With coverage of the debate tonight, here's political reporter Dave Evans. Because of the pandemic, tonight's debate was virtual. No surprise, the first issue, crime, police, and a deadly uptick in violence. I also know that the prerequisite to prosperity is public safety. And I've been, I've been stating this for a while. Several of the candidates support cutting the police department, but not Andrew Yang. And let me be clear, defund the police is the wrong approach for New York City. We need to evolve to a 21st century form of policing. Maya Wiley wants to shift a billion dollars out of the police department. Tonight she was on the attack, blasting Eric Adams for once being a registered Republican in the 1990s. Eric, Eric, you were a self-described conservative Republican when Rudy Giuliani was mayor. And she even accused Adams, a former policeman, of supporting stop and frisk. Thank you so much, Maya. And uh, every time you raise that question, it really just shows your failure of understanding uh, law enforcement. So let me give you um, some... Well, having chaired the New York City Civilian Complaint Review Board, I certainly understand misconduct. Andrew Yang was questioned why he's never voted in a city election and slammed as not ready to be mayor. This is not the time for a rookie as mayor. As mayor. This is the most consequential election of our lifetime. This okay. is not time Ask for a rookie. Many liberal supporters have abandoned Scott Stringer because of a sexual harassment allegation. Tonight, he walked the tightrope of saying, believe women... Just not I, uh, this one. I, I take it very seriously. My wife is a survivor. We've had long conversations about it, but this is an allegation that's not true. Stringer, right. though, has a wealth of experience, and so does Catherine Garcia, the former sanitation commissioner. And I am proud to have gotten the endorsement of the New York Times. I don't need to know, be told where the lights are in City Hall. Two of the candidates tonight said they would choose Catherine Garcia as their number two pick. That certainly helps her with only six weeks to go till Election Day. In the newsroom, Dave Evans, Channel 7, 